And during your elective uh, time in South Africa as well, you had a boyfriend named Johan and you had a near-death experience during your elective, you know, elective in school, but enjoying as well South Africa. Tell us about the near-death experience and the savior, um, a mysterious guy who saved you and that, that, uh, that later on you've known that his name uh, is Michael. Yes, so my boyfriend and some other friends came to visit me and we took, we were traveling together along the coast and we stopped for some bodyboarding. Um, my friends, they just, they gave up quickly. They went on the beach and had a nap while I was still the only one out there, which is stupid. I realize that now because they had big surf waves with a rip. And the place was called Shark Point. So they also had sharks and they're pretty big in South Africa. Um, so me being a bit, advent bit too adventurous, I keep on playing, going further and further because the, the tide was going out. So I end up being caught in, this, in the rip where the, where the waves just, jump, they, it falls on top of your head. It right. pushes you down to the rocks underneath. And then you turn around and you come up just for a little bit to catch a little breath. And then the next wave crushes down on you and you're under the water going blah, 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 blah. So I was like in this dead mill, uh, not being able to get out of it. And yeah, your photos are very accurate. I, I tried to like help, but my friends were all sleeping and not paying attention. And I was far away already from the coast, but close to shark point. And um so I struggled like that for half an hour, holding on to my life. And finally, I was so tired that I gave up and made peace with the fact that I was going to die. And I, so I gave up the struggle uh, because I was too exhausted. And um, my grandmother appeared. She was still alive. She appeared and she kind of said, like, no, you cannot die now. And then I... I decided like, yeah, well, how, how can I get out of here? So I decided to pray to God and ask for help. And I had this whole conversation in my head. I mean, before that, I already had seen my life go past me and I kind of made peace that I had a, a pretty good life. Um, so I, I reached out to God and I said, can you please make a deal that if you save me, I will be your divine healer. You can heal people through me. Because I also first, I also said to God, don't make me go to church because I don't like going to church. I find it, it would not be, I would not be true. It would not be true to me, but I can, I want to be a healer and I'm willing to do your healing work for you. And um, when I made that uh, conversation, had that conversation with God, a stranger appeared from over the dunes with a surfboard in his hand, in under his arm. And he saw me because he was higher up. He ran out to the ocean, swam out to me, and I was like half dead there. And he dragged me on a surfboard. And I remember he yelled at me, get on. And I said, I can't, I'm too tired. And then he said, do you want to live or not? And then uh, he pulled me on his surfboard and he was off the surfboard. It took us a long time to get out because the waves were still getting us. But then finally, he delivered me exhausted on the beach to my friends. And my friends all came running in a panic when they saw I was being rescued. And I was like just lying there and the guy was leaving. And I said, wait, what is your name? And he turned around and he said, Michael. <laughs> and he disappeared. And wow. nobody there knew who the person was. And it was in a small town where you would think everybody knows everybody. So that guy just disappeared and nobody knew who he was. So, I mean, we can assume he might have been an angel. The Arch yeah, or Archangel Michael. 